I'm Sally Turner and welcome to my world. Instead of rattling off a boring resume, I want to show you my favourite place to be on a Saturday. So let's mix in with the locals and see why they love the beach. So what's your favourite part of coming to the beach? Well, I don't know if we're strictly at the beach, are we? We're sort of on the, on the grass here. What about the grass? Why do you like coming here? Well, I like coming here because there's no sand here. I like the water. What about the water? The temperature? Yes, and when it's clear, but today obviously it's not very clear. It's got seaweed in it. And so what brings you boys, your big group of boys, to the beach today? Um, to flat, rock. flat Rock and, flat rock and the Coke thing. What happens at Flat Rock on a Saturday? Um, you jump in and then you die. Like you yeah. get washed up and you're like... You die. Like That's die. charming. You don't like seaweed? No, I don't. It smells. <laughs> it gets in my pants. In your pants? How do you get it out of your pants? I just pull it out and I've got seaweed tweezers in the car. Do you want to lose weight but can't quite get there? Don't worry, I know how you feel. I have traded macaroni and cheese for tuna and salad to be standing here over 20 kilos lighter. Was it easy? I struggle every single day, but I've never felt better. So get off the couch and say with me, today is a day I will change. A new life is waiting for you. The best way to learn about losing weight is to hear it from someone who's been through it. And this person is my cousin Jamie. Jamie, how much weight have you lost? Sally, I've lost 47 kilos since August last year. So that's been about seven kilos a month. Wow, how did you do it? I did it the old fashioned way, exercise and diet, being consistent, being disciplined, and really, really giving it the best effort I could. You look fantastic and I really want to hear more. So do you want to go for a walk, burn off some calories? Let's make it a power walk. <laughs> La Perouse was named after a French explorer, La Compte de La Perouse, upon his arrival on these shores in 1788. This area holds special significance to the Aboriginal community as their presence was recorded here in 1812. Each step on this beautiful walk holds a place in Australian history. And just beyond is Botany Bay, where Captain Cook and his first fleet arrived. One cage, two contestants. The ultimate physical challenge, cage fighting. This sport is taking over the world with its mixture of martial arts and street fighting. You can forget about the ring. It's all about the cage. Cage fighters are no ordinary athletes. It takes a special drive to be brave enough to enter the cage. Jacob, how did you become a cage fighter? I started off doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with my friends down at Maruba in the surf club and then from there I just I saw people training doing cage fighting and I just thought that was one of the things I wanted to do. So how do you prepare for a fight? Uh, training's about four to six weeks out, train every day. And so why is there a cage anyway? The no cage ring. is there so you don't fall through the ropes. If there's a ring, you fall through the ropes. Where there's a cage, you've got something to lean up against. All right, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? Let's go in the cage. Let's do it. <laughs> Let me just take my glasses off. <clears throat> Blood, blows and violence. The cage can be a dangerous place, but you have to see the passion these fighters have for their sport. I can't believe I knocked him out. If you haven't hit the eject button, then it's a success. You've had as much fun watching this reel as I have had making it. So until next time, I'm Sally Turner. Thanks for watching.